Hi everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. I've come out today just for a walk in the local woodlands. I don't know if you'll recognise this spot. This is where I, I built my debris shelter. But as you can see, there's nothing left. One of the interesting things about coming out for a walk to the local woods all the time is you get to see the woods in all four seasons. It's amazing how flat and empty and barren it looks because all of the vegetation's, um, you know, dormant or dead. Anyway, join me for a walk around. Yeah, so this area here is where I usually set up the the Zeltban. Um, loads of my videos are, are filmed at this wee bit here. But uh, as you can see, it is amazing how how open it looks um, and spacious. But at the same time, the whole area looks a lot smaller because you don't have that, you know, camouflage effect from the trees. Um, it's it's quite it's quite unusual. It's quite strange. I'm going to head down now to the other shelter area. It's just down the hill there. So here we are, guys. Let's have a wee look in the inside. You hear in the background. Uh, this is quite a busy, popular spot. Especially as there's a rope swing up there. So there's not a lot that we can do when you're all... All you can do is come out for a walk. One of the things that I noticed the last time I was up, which is rather annoying... So this is one of the things that I noticed the last time I was up here. Is that somebody's coming in this area and using it as a toilet without disposing of their tissue paper, which is absolutely disgusting. The next time I come up, I'll bring a, a dog a dog poo bag um, and pick that up and get rid of it. But yeah, I do still like this area. This is one of the things that I really find fascinating about this particular spot and it's one of the reasons that I chose it. Um, as I said, that this tree and the tree next to it actually fell over at some point in time. Um, so you can see there, that's, that's the root system of the tree. Um, and that's the trunk system and, and it's a really fairly, fairly thick trunk. So there's no known if it was that thick when it fell. Um, but the fascinating thing is that cellar falling down one there. You can see the root system of that there. Because this is what I think is just amazing. How much this tree has grown. In spite of all of that. It's lovely. Oh, they're the parakeets you can hear. I've just spotted them up in the tree. I don't think I'll be able to capture them. It's There's too much light in the background. I don't know if you can see that there, they're there. Lovely. We don't normally get parakeets here. Maybe that's global warming.
perfect. <laughs> I thought I would show you today, as I'm just out for a walk, um, I'm not building a shelter today as much as I wanted to. You know, I would love nothing more than just to spend a good couple hours here building a shelter and having a fire and everything that I enjoy doing. Hopefully it won't be long. But I did bring one little tiny piece of kit with me to show you something that I bought during the winter. Um, it's the Olay O-Bulb. I'll give you a close-up. So that's it, it's quite small and compact. Now it comes, it comes with a magnetic charger which just clicks on there and also you get a wee magnetic plate that you can stick on um, to anything at all and then the bulb just magnetics onto it but basically it'll stick, it'll magnetic on any other, any magnet thing. Um, so this is it, it's really neat and compact as you can see, I mean it fits right in my pocket easily. Um, and it has a couple of different modes, so I'll go further back and you can see what kind of light it throws out. It is fairly light today, so... But it's quite dark in here, because we're under the shade of this big tree. So, I don't know if you can see that actually, that's the red mode. That's low and that's high. As I said, it is daylight, so there you go, that's the high bulb mode. You just hold it down to change modes. That's the solid red and that's the red flashing. Funnily enough, it looks strange in that camera. That's low bulb. And that's high bulb. So I think that'll be really good for inside the lavu. Anybody that's got, um, well I've got the Hungarian Zeltban, but anybody that's got a lavu knows that um, it's dark inside them. Um, so I think this will be really, really useful. Yeah, one of the things I'm finding about the new camcorder is um, it's too heavy for the selfie stick tripod. So um, it's quite difficult to get it to get it balanced. So it probably means I'm going to have to bring out the heavier tripod for it. So that's it, the O light O bulb. <laughs> I quite like it. I mean, it's really compact and small. And um, it, for anybody that uh, has a Lavu or the Zeltban, I have the Zeltban, um, will know that um, it is quite dark inside it because it's canvas. So this wee bulb will, will actually be be really ideal for that. You can see where the camera is really picking that up there. That's good, isn't it? 
yeah but as I said um, definitely finding this tripod selfie stick is not good enough for the camcorder the camcorder is a bit too heavy um, and the way it sits on it as well obviously it's slightly off centre uh, so that doesn't help with the balance of it either so I'll probably need to bring out the better the better tripod when I'm using this I just thought I would come out come for a wee walk into the woods and uh, give you a wee a video an update Yesterday um, was uh, the, the day after my COVID vaccine because uh, um, I was uh, lucky to be in the next list uh, here in Scotland to be targeted. So um, I uh, yesterday was feeling really quite unwell after it. Uh, my arm was really sore. Um, I had a fever and uh, I was feeling really nauseous. So it wasn't really a good day yesterday. Um, but thankfully I woke up this morning and um, yeah, feel feel great again, brand new. I'm, you know, a wee bit tender but um, it made me really feel for people that actually um, have gone through uh, suffering th this, this horrible virus because it, it certainly wasn't pleasant um, and that was just, you know, a wee bit of the dead virus so. But anyway, um, I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. Um, I'm looking at my shoes and not only are they caked in mud but they also look like they're caked in dog poo. Yuck. So there's a couple of things that I wanted to just cover with you and please let me know what your comments and thoughts are below. So the first thing is this area and I don't know if you noticed it when I walked in. At some point there's been a lot of tree planting. And when they do that, they support the, the young growth with these plastic tubes. Um, but they don't biodegrade and they're strewn absolutely everywhere. And there's quite a number um, just in this wee bit that I'm at. So I guess the question for me is, should, should I, you know, pick up the ones that are near me at least um, and take them down out to you know a local refuse area or should I use them as given that they're a resource that's here anyway um, should I use them as part of a shelter construction because I was thinking you probably could make a kind of windbreak wall or something with them so let me know what you think about that because as I said they're they're not part of the environment they're, they're just put here because this used to be a managed woods but it's not really managed anymore the other thing um, and this is actually a pleat <laughs> um, some of you will have seen in one of my old videos that I bought an East German NVA um, shelter half it's a square shelter half and it's a strict turn pattern um, which is supposed to look like raindrops Anyway, I've got one um, and I found that you can actually make a really, really cracking shelter out of three. Now, even if I could get another one um, and make the half shelter with two of them, um, it's something that I'm, I'm really uh, interested in trying out um, because it looked like it was really, really spacious um, and probably a bit bigger than, than what the Zeltban would be, the Hungarian Zeltban. But suffice it to say, uh, the one that I bought on eBay is out of stock. I tried to get another one and I, I lost out. I've tried to order another one from the German Amazon and they, and they cancelled it. Um, and all of the other websites that I've checked, and they're all out of stock. So I can't actually seem to get my hands on one. So if anybody does find any stock of the East German NVA shelter half, uh, please um, hit me with a link down below. I'd really appreciate it.
thanks again for watching my channel. I really do appreciate all your views and comments. If you're watching and you've not subscribed yet, think about clicking that button. That'll help get my numbers up. Some YouTube features are not available unless you've got over a thousand subscribers. So we'll keep chasing those numbers. I'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun. Bye!